Hi, um, very good afternoon and welcome back uh, to the UQSity YouTube channel. Um, we get a lot of questions from some of our learners who are actually completing courses with us, especially in level three, uh, which could be level three diploma courses or level three foundation diploma courses. Now, what we've realized is that after the completion of this course, most learners want to go and, uh, you know, obviously progress further in terms of their studies to a university qualification and take a, take admission into the university degree course. Now, in order for you to do that, one of the key steps that I'm going to be discussing in this series would be to prepare for an interview. Now, when you look at completing the qualification with us uh, over a period of three months, three and a half months, six months, depending on the course that you are studying with us, you would also be guided by some of our lecturers and teachers in terms of, uh, you know, understanding the basic skills, which would be helpful uh, uh, for you while you are preparing, uh, you know, for your university interviews and also to do a UCAS application. Things like writing a personal statement, a reflective statement, updating your CV, and also looking at, you know, explaining what are the reasons behind why you want to join a particular degree would be very important when you actually look at facing a university interview uh, and getting a place in the university for a three-year degree course. Now, some of the basic questions which I normally get to see that are asked by most universities when you are applying, uh, you know, and taking admission into a undergraduate degree course or a three-year degree course, whichever way you say it, would be that they would want to know what qualification you have studied. So you have to be very clear that, uh, you know, you, whether you have studied an ATHE level three diploma in business or a level three diploma in health and social care or a diploma in law, diploma in accounting, a foundation diploma in higher education studies. So you have to know the name of your qualification and be able to, you know, obviously explain what you have done within this qualification. The other thing which most universities do want to know from the learners is which college or which study center you have studied with. So in this case, what you have to look at is very clearly say that you have studied with UK University or you have studied with, you know, um, a particular college and you should know the name of the college, which is quite important to bring across in your interview. The third thing that you need to know in the interview process itself would be the number of credits or units that you have studied in the course. Now, most courses at level three that we offer at UK University would essentially be four units or 60 credits. So you should be aware of the name of the units. Like, for example, if you've done a level three diploma in business, then there are four units that you study with us and you should be able to bring that across in your interview uh, with, with the respective university. So these units tend to be, you know, how businesses operate. The second unit is marketing principles and practice. The third unit is communication skills and the last unit is academic and research skills. The total qualification that you earn is a 60 credit qualification. So that is something that you need to know as well. And it would be helpful if you're able to bring that across into your interview. Now, sometimes universities are also keen on understanding that, you know, who were your teachers? How was the course taught? So you should be confidently able to answer these questions. Uh, which basically mean that most of the courses that at, that we teach and deliver at UK University are delivered online. Uh, you are studying using webinars or uh, Zoom sessions with us. And obviously uh, your names of, uh, if you are able to bring across a few names of your teachers, I think that will be very helpful. So teachers on the business course include Sanjay, uh, you know, Mr. Anjum, uh, that includes Amrita. And when you look at health and social care, you have Ashfa, you have Miss um, uh, Ashfa or you have Miss um, Salma. And these tend to be your teachers for health and social care. Now, if you're studying law, then obviously you would need to know teachers who are in law, which is Mr. Anjum Sattar and Mr. Raman Singh. And then sometimes it's best to explain uh, and, you know, have a particular unit that you know quite well, uh, the name of the unit and obviously what you enjoyed in that unit if you bring that across in your conversation also goes to show the work that you've done and obviously the study and research that you've done in the course uh, while while you were studying the course with uh, with us at UK University. Now a couple of other things uh, could be that because you're studying online and sometimes when you're applying to universities you're applying to different universities uh, in uh, which could be outside the city where you live or uh, in some cases you because you're studying online in the interview it is important for you to also bring out what, where is your, uh, you know, college and where is the, uh, you know, college delivering the education from. So UK University is based in Manchester. We are based in Universal Square. And obviously it will be good for you to have this information at hand so that, you know, you are able to clearly see 
and also confidently bring this across in the interview because that is what the interviewers uh, look at. Now, sometimes you'll say, uh, you know, we, we also are asked a question that, you know, um, how do we submit work or how is the work assessed? Now, the basic bit here is if some of you, those who have come from abroad in terms of from the European Union because of Brexit, you might immigrated here or if you've settled here and you are from outside the EU, as you know, most qualifications in the UK are assessment based. There are no exams. So you're required to submit assignments. These assignments obviously are submitted to the college and then we give you feedback on these assignments depending on the grades that you want to achieve and uh, if the work is meeting the criteria or not. Now, if the work meets the criteria, you, your assignment goes through, you are given formative and summative feedback, and you know towards the end when you complete the four units, you are then uh, going to be certificated by the awarding body and you receive your awarding body diploma. At the end of it, we also ask most learners, you know, not most, all learners mandatorily to basically look at doing exit interview, uh, look at taking the course survey and give us feedback which allows us to improve our delivery and teaching that we do on a daily basis on some of the courses. We also then, um, you know, suggest and recommend to learners to leave us a review on Trustpilot, which allows us to get, you know, a bit of publicity and, uh, you know, marketing in terms of getting the good word out there in the market to say, okay, you've studied with UK University, you're happy with the course that you've done, you have been supported during the course of your uh, delivery and uh, you know obviously the course of your studies and journey with us and that's a way of you saying thank you to the college uh, which which obviously helps us in spreading the word of mouth as as we get most learners from word of mouth and references from our existing learners I think this bit is quite important for us so that we are able to you know get this feedback from you timely feedback from you which allows us to you know make changes to our delivery and obviously ensure that uh, you know we are current up to date and also, uh, you know, helping learners and supporting you in in the course of your studies with us. If you need to reach us, and if you need any academic reference, or if you need a reference or help uh, with regards to your UCAS application, you can definitely reach us on email and call us on our switchboard at the college switchboard on 0161 273 4745 or email us at admin at ukversary.co. Dot UK. So I hope this, um, you know, first uh, short video in terms of helping you prepare and put things together for a university interview is going to be helpful. And I will be looking at doing a few more videos in this series to help you uh, guide and provide information uh, related to your university applications, hopefully providing you guidance and also, uh, you know, uh, information which is accurate and factual that allows you to get a place in the university in the coming uh, sessions, whether you're applying for April, May session, or you're going to be planning to apply for the uh, September session. Thanks for watching and uh, bye for now.